no. Let me call you in a little bit here, Mama. Okay? I love you. everything gonna turn him loose.
Harper hammer down. Shelton Stallings out of Hartford, North Carolina. Sitting in the number two spot at 314.55, and rounding out your top three so far is Michael Goodwin. With it is what it is at 311.53. Flag for Dylan Wood and newcomer. Still 318 and 88 with Adam Stallings in danger zone. In the hole behind Ernie is Leonard Stallings with old Rusty Red. Fifty-two hundred pound V8 tractors. Let's start getting them lined up, please. Fifty-two hundred pound V8 tractors. Let's start getting them lined up.
315.45. Looks like Adam Stallings is going to be your winner. So Adam Stallings will take on the win at 318.88. Second place will go to Delton Stallings at 318.17. Third place to Chris Avery was stressed out at 317.87. Fourth to Leonard Stallings at Old Rusty Red. And rounding out the top five is Ernie Deal. So 200 pounds. Most of them run in Chevrolet. All right, I'm here with Rocky Meadows, your V8 modified uh, points champion for 2021. Rocky, tell me a little bit about that season. How did it feel last year to win the points championship? Well, it felt real good, and it wasn't no easy task. I fought the whole year. You did me, fight the whole year. Me and one other guy was tongue in tongue. It was the whole came down to the last came, pull, right and to, he crossed the line. And, and just tell and, me, I mean, I know he crossed the line, but what did that mean for your season? How did, how did it feel it, winning points champion? Well, I've been trying to win this thing for about 10 years, so he put me up on cloud nine. You know what I mean? I was in there. Yeah, you can float <laughs> on. I can float. I've been riding it all, all winter, too. All right, now, you changed your tires <laughs> last year. Did that help a lot? Yes, it did. Good. It helped a bunch. And I had a couple of my buddies want to know why I put them tires on there. <laughs> and they, they were doubting, they were doubting that it They worked. were doubting at the first of the season, but about halfway, they didn't doubt no more. <laughs> it, it was on. Then they're trying to buy them, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I wouldn't sell them. <laughs> That's right. Well, when you got something that works, you stick with it. You stay hey, with congratulations it. Congratulations on your 2021, but we wish you the well, best of luck on your 2022. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going after them again this year. That's um, right. <laughs> and the full throttle John Deere. the option to get a second attempt, maybe try a different gear, maybe come out of the hole just a little bit harder, and that's what they're doing, they'll pull them back to the starting line. I don't think that we'll have a problem with that, well I could ask him for you. 
But if you go like say Tyler, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, this is like Alright, let's try it again, Gary Coffee. from the Elizabeth City, North Carolina area, and they've got a lot of good running trucks down that area. They kind of uh, have bragging rights from week to week on which truck does the best, but Keith, you did a good job here tonight, and uh, I'm sure Adam will be proud of you when you, you probably already called him, have you? Yes, sir. He told me, he said, take it, give her hell. If it blows up, bring it back home in a box. <laughs> That's right, good. And the owner tells you if, if, if you uh, don't win, bring it home in a box. Uh, you can't beat that. All right, give him a hand here. Keep breaking. Let us sit it. Yeah. This is a good run tractor. Multi time track champion. Kevin English. Win one to go. Well, it's not only that, but 
it, it's great to have a win here at Miller's Tavern. I was kind of fighting the tractor last year at the end of the year, and I picked up a couple sponsors, and the guys told me, get that tractor to go straight. So I went in rear end and did some work. I kind of cut my tires a little bit different, made things change it. We added 200 pounds of weight this year, and next thing you know, I don't know where to put it. I put it all on the rear, and I drifted to the right. But yeah, the brakes do work. And then all of a sudden, I shot to the left, and I said, let it ride. But anyway, um, just a great win, and, and I can tell you, it's still my show. I'm tell you, I'm just, I'm just here, just here being in part of it. But once again, thank y'all. And these trucks have pulled out a whole bunch of horsepower. Caitlin Moeller will be our test puller out of Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Chevrolet, she calls Moeller Farms. I had the opportunity to see this truck run up at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania this winter at the Keystone Nationals. In the hole will be Aaron Smothers, a former points champion in this class. Chevrolet, he calls the money hog.
29533 for Aaron Smothers. Is that what it is? 295? It looks like 295. 295. 29633, go with that. Put that down. 29633. 33. Bob Simmons and another bullish habit. is still in the shop. It's going to be out soon. It, it doesn't have a motor. They're waiting on that. It's already built. It just needs to go in. Thank you, Warner, on the fact correction. It's like Facebook over there. Oh, good. I'm just saying. The motor is ready. They're just they got to get—they put it in. Hey. All right. Green light, green flag. Ladies, you got to get behind her. Rebecca Berthendine, the GNC, she calls Footloose. Simmons with foolish pleasure and round out the class with Donnie Shiflett and the Junkyard Dog. Alright, green light. Green flag. Michael Shiflett, clear cut.
59, 27.6 on the speed for Caitlin Moeller. 300.59, but Caitlin right now looks like up on the number three spot unofficially. 27.6. Oh, go come down there. One of the best guys you ever be around in the great sportsmanship, and he's just saying, look, I got to get my truck worked out out on the track. Now, you got to remember, this is the first time in right many years we're pulling during the daylight hours where the track conditions change dramatically from, from the nighttime. Well, you'd add water in it at night or during the day, and you, that water turns around and comes back to the surface, we're steady putting water in it by the sprayer, keeping, trying to keep the dust down and keeping it packed down. Out of the nine in here, we're looking at going to be the last four in the class. Jerry Smith out of Blankwood, Virginia, a little bit north of Madison, on the truck they call the old goat. Now, 307. 7-4 with a good run with Rebecca on the truck they call the Footloose. Sitting in the middle of the track. Now the track conditions normally out here, usually that left side groove is the one to be on. It was not the groove to be on earlier in some of the classes and you can tell now they're running in the middle to the right hand side. Track, like I said, we worked on the track, did some things a little bit different. Now is showing what we did is changing up the whole chemistry of the track. How about my Dodge fans? Where are you? Well, I'm Dodge in the class. Yes, sir. Six hundred and fifty cubic inch motor, naturally aspirated. I ring he's waiting for the temperature to warm up a little bit. Probably. I don't know. 
Backing in right now, another foolish pleasure. Which one is this? Because it's foolish pleasure and another This is another foolish pleasure. We also have Will Witt, WWP TV in the house, video in this pool, and other pools throughout the region, along with Dragon Motorsports and Interstate and the NTPA. But right now, Phillips says, hey, we're going to make things work on the foolish pleasure. We're going back in. We're going to do it again. We're going back in. 51 foot ain't enough for that truck. And they're trying to make sure to get that bounce out. behind Footloose. Real close. Real close. You're talking about this and that white line. Yeah, and, and made an impeccable run there as well. They'll slot into the number, yes. looks like number two spot. 306.26. The official says, nope, he's good. 306.26 right now on the number two spot. And they said they didn't have a stage for me to stand on. Donald Shiflet and Clear Cut uh, Junkyard Dog coming up right now. Sixty four hundred pro stop full wheel drive trucks. Please report to staging, please. Sixty four hundred pound pro stop full wheel drive trucks. Please report to staging, please.
4,400 pound pro stock 4x4s. Hey, but I'm going to tell y'all right now, there ain't two types of music Madison. in the world. Y'all know what it is? Country and western. That's all it is. Country and western. Right Amen to that. You know the first You know the first rapper music came out? Now, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all a little history. The first rapper that ever came out was the Bellamy Brothers. Now go think back. They were the first ones to start rapping way back in the day. That was way back in time. 6,400 pro shades. What we got up here, Tanner? Adam Shepard with the Ford he calls the instigator. He's running the Ford out of Culpepper. Good, co good competitor.
Seven trucks in this class. This is number, truck number four of 11 in this class. And we'll go with our 6,200 pound crooked. Well, hopefully he can straighten her out here. But he has that option. He might just back it up and try it. Pull off is, tractor uh, to the start. Kendall Brown is uh, having the issues, technical difficulties. First Chevy. Yeah. I hope that some of the. All right, actually... William Bennett <laughs> is up next on the Chevrolet. He calls it some shot reloaded. William Bennett coming out of Culpeper, Virginia. 
Alright, Mark to beat still 313.99. Dwayne Griffin to four called running rampant. Alright, green flag for William Bennett. Buck shot reloaded. Good run there for Bill Good. You see Wally right here. That's 
his crew chief. He said, yes, sir, Fred. He, li he likes it, but it's not enough to, it's not enough to take over the Tenacious Dodge. All right, ladies, you got to help her out. You had one lady in a 62. Sportsman, now you got Kathy. Look out. Walking around. Here comes Jerry Young. Hey, man. Chevrolet fans, can he do it? You got to help him out. We got two Chevy left in the class of the 11, and two left to go here to hook. And then we'll get into the 6,200 pound national four wheel drive. Winner, Brad Roy. I think it's your winner. Yeah. It is your winner. 
Brad Roy out of Maryville, Virginia, cash only. He, he pulls pumps and trucks, and he also runs some uh, uh, coin-operated car washes. So, I'm telling you, that's a man you need to know if you got a dirty car in Maryville. Last year's points champion in this Dragon Motorsports National Four Wheel Drive Truck Class out of Winchester, Virginia. 650 cubic inch of sassy racing engine. Class. 
Now this young lady, this is a all aluminum, or I'm sorry, fiberglass body. Nice wrap on it. It is one of the original paint schemes of the HH Umps truck from years back that Mike ran out of the Winchester area on the green machine. And this is what they call the original green machine. Kelsey doing the driving. She has driven before. It's been a couple years. She sat out. Hadn't been in the seat. They worked on this truck. This is kind of like a new setup for Kelsey and the Umps team. But it ain't nothing better than when you're looking at a Ford and got that big Hemi sitting in the front. Kelsey Umps in the new truck. It's a wrap. Candy apple green. going to run this class and then we have the two-wheel drives and then we're going to bring out the honky tonk heroes and set them up right here on center stage and get them fired up and get them playing don't forget plenty of good food up there at up at the shop get you something to eat drink they've got it all going on up there plenty plus the 20 20 two t-shirts. Alrighty ladies, young lady, I think she's probably about, I don't know, 18, 19, 21 years of age. Somewhere in the mid-twenties. shook up a little bit. Go ahead and get the token. She's got the motor cut off. Y'all give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Having a little bit of trouble. That thing's shaking a little bit. And she said, I just, I missed the mark. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. Go back. Check it all over. And be ready to go again. Tough break there. 148.98 for Kelsey Omps. And the original. As she's leaving the track, once again, give her a break. Round of applause. Coming out of Winchester. That thing had a terrible bounce, and if that bounce continues, you're going to... Y'all, anybody out here a couple, what was it, last year or so, Mason was running, and then all of a sudden, he jerked it, broke, broke everything, and threw the bed off the back. He said, I don't need none of that. Threw it right on the ground. I can't tell you who won, but I know what he did. On deck. And then John T. Davis on the young gun. Now, you got to remember, Peyton... 321, awesome run, 321.48. And then we'll get into the two-wheel drive.
and all of a sudden, you saw that thing lay down about 100 to the 150 mark. That thing laid down and got hooked. That sled caught up with the truck, the weight on the back of it, and all of a sudden, it got that bounce, that little wiggle out of it, and it went from there. Don't need a tow tractor out on the track. Going to need a tow going back on the track. 31.0 on the speed. There's Matthew out of the truck. He's been around. Anybody got a tow? Somebody can run that Ford tractor down there. Somebody jump on that Ford tractor and, and pull it. Just right in his neck. Want to thank Gilman Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Serving the Richmond area for over 100 years and recently opened over in the Kilmonic, bringing them closer to the northern neck. Remember, you got a little trouble on the heating and cooling and flooding issues. Remember Gilman, they'll take care of it. Conamara Corporation, located at a northern neck, just outside of Whitestone, your commercial building, serving the community since 1993, voted top three of Virginia Living Magazine, best of Virginia, and best home builder. And Conamara Corporation is one of our sponsors Main sponsor tonight with the Honky Tonk Heroes coming out here tonight. Also, James River Equipment, your local John Deere dealer, longtime sponsor of the Dragon Motorsports. Great. Each thing that you might need around the farm, around the house, they have it. For lawn and lawn care, they have it. Steel products, large variety of steel products for homeowners. 51 full service locations. Over 200 field service vehicles out on the road. Extreme driver, you're looking at putting in fences, you need to buy one of the erosion control. NNW, your northern neck wholesaler, your local auto parts store right here in Tappahannock. Also, CMF Children's Metal Fabrication here with the last three, last two in the class. Movie. 
I think we have about four or five two wheel drives. John T. Davis, Tappahannock, Virginia, Young Gun. Better than that 329.19. John Davis, all the young guns. Exhibition run only. Let's give her a good round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Brand new truck, new wrap. They're going to be back, trust me. Come here, John. Honk and Tonk 300. You know, when I talk about chicken legs, you know who chicken legs is, Ernie? Ernie come by there and he gave me 331. I said, okay. He said, I'm gonna bet on it. Cause we you know, you know, he likes to, you know. So when you went out there at 332, you could have bought him for five cents down there. That guy was down there, he was just all over the place. Tell us a little bit of trucking and who's helping you out and all your sponsors and making that thing work out here tonight. Uh, I got to start with my family, this whole crew right here. Um, they're the biggest part of it. Sonny Leonard uh, builds a hell of a motor and can put it to use. Uh, Steve Barker, Nichols Tires, uh, list goes on and on. Thank you, Alan Temple, for putting on a good pull. Well, we appreciate you coming out here once again at a Davis Motorsports. John T. Davis, I'm going to call you Cool Hand Luke. He come out there. Spank, 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 spank. What do you think about that, Ernie? You called that one. All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get my uh, Hey, Ernie. I'll get my I didn't hear that thing go pop, 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 pop. <laughs> there he goes. Boy, he calls a little red. When you start hearing that motor whistle a little bit, you know they've done their homework. 20, 5, actually probably 22 to 2500 
That's 25 and two zeros of horsepower. All the safety equipment on these vehicles, kill switch, fire suit on the driver. And a big, little like about an 871 big blower sitting on the top cap. You got that right, John. Now he's gonna burn about six to eight gallons of alcohol in one run. You're going to the bar. Ah, right, Chevrolet fans, are you still here? Watch him. He wants that front end to barely come up tiptoe. These things are individual brakes on the rear. And to get the front end up about six to twenty flags. Ridley, little red. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, why not? Nick, come here. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your favorite beer? I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? Bush. Woo! Minus two. Hold on, one more. I got you.